Optionally, the Arcastigma can offer articulator calculations and the upper jaw model transfer with the arbitrary axis. Please bite down. I place the lower measuring bow on the paraocclusal spoon, carry out the measurement and remove the bow. The indicator pin is inserted into the left receptacle of the measuring bow, thereby pointing to the left arbitrary hinge axis point. The position measurement is carried out and the indicator pin is then repositioned to the right side of the bow. Thus the right arbitrary hinge axis point is shown and the measurement carried out. Subsequently the indicator pin is inserted into the centre position and the measurement of the infraorbital point is carried out. Thereby all reference points have been measured which display the reference plane for the transfer of the viewpoint. The bite fork suited to this arbitrary face bow has already been placed into position on the patient and the clamp to fasten the bite fork and face bow to each other is affixed. The axis pointers are now aligned and fixed on both sides of the arbitrary hinge axis points. Hereby the position of the arbitrary axis point in relation to the upper dentition is fixed. Thus the anatomically correct position of the upper jaw model can be transferred to the articulator. The patient opens her mouth slightly, the glabella support is removed and the face bow is opened. The face bow can now be removed from the patient's head. Shown here is the installation of the model on a protar articulator with the help of an arbitrary face bow. As the retaining pad would be disturbing when positioning the face bow, I have to remove it. The side fixing screw is opened and the pad can be taken off. The face bow can now be aligned with the axis pointers to the articulator's axis. The bow is closed by using the knurled screw and placed on the incisal pin. Bite fork support is raised and stabilised as the face bow by the model installation. The model is placed in the impressions of the bite fork and the mounting plate in the split cast of the articulator upper part. After closing the articulator we see here the slot for the mounting plaster. 